13. What is the expected electrical conductivity of the following solutions? And then we have NH3 aqueous. Okay. So in order to um, answer this question, let's just first run through how to find out if something is electrically conductive. Now, if something is electrically conductive, that means that you see ions in the solution. Now, ions just mean that you have, you know, either positives or negatives in solution. Now, there's a couple of ways to go about this. Um, one way is just identifying if whatever their, uh, uh, whatever their compound they're asking for is either a strong acid or a strong base. Because if you are in this realm and you're aqueous, right, AQ means aqueous, and aqueous just means that you are in water. Water would be your solvent. And the compound in question is the solute. Whoop, solvent. And this would be the solute. Okay. But if you have a strong acid or a strong base in, uh, in water, right, these are highly conductive. These are great electrolytes. These are strong electrolytes. However, NH3 eh, doesn't really make the cut, right? So now I say to myself, okay, well, hmm, what other highly conductive or strong electrolytes are there? And just keep in mind that electrolytes are basically the, the same exact idea is that you just have ions in a solvent, right? So you have ions in your solution. Um, the next thing that comes to mind is ionic compounds, right? Generally speaking, ionic compounds will dissolve in water into their charges, but these are all nonmetals. So this is a, 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 a covalent uh, compound. So I can't really go by that. So then I say to myself, okay, or well, if it's not a strong acid or a strong base, maybe it's a weak acid or a weak base. And generally speaking, if you have H's in the front uh, this would be classified as an acid, just like as we see here, right? All H's in the front, it's an acid. So I know that generally, since there's no H in the front, that it wouldn't be classified as acidic. Um, and with bases, you can see a lot of different things, right? For all of our strong bases, you have OH minuses in the back, but just know that that is not true for all bases. You can have OHs in the back. You can have hydrogens in the back. You could have charges. So in this case, since we do have H's and they're in the back, right? NH3 is known as ammonia. And ammonia is always a weak base. Well, I mean, not always, right? It really depends on what it's reacting with. But in this case, with water, NH3 is going to be the more basic of the two. Now, if we keep with this weak idea, right? If it's a weak acid or a weak base, that just means that it's going to be a weak electrolyte. Um, and if it's a strong acid, strong base, it's a strong electrolyte. So it's going to be highly conductive. So this is the opposite. If it's weak basic, right? If it's a weak base, it's a weak electrolyte. So the expected conductivity would be low, right? It won't be high. It would be relatively low. But still, there is some conductivity. There's not no conductivity. It's just relatively low. Which means that if you are conductive, uh, you still have positives and negatives in solution. And this comes from the balanced equation between NH3 and H2O, in which you'll have um, NH4 positives, you got positives, and OH minuses. Uh, but the easier way is to just know that weak base, weak electrolyte, low conductivity. So the light bulb, if you have something attached to this solution, the light bulb would go on, but it won't go on as bright as if you had one of these six strong acids or six strong bases. And that is it. So low conductivity, you got some ions there, but not as many as a strong acid or base. And that's the end. What'd you think?
I hope this helped. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists all over the world. It's crazy uh, how far this channel has gone. And it's all because of you guys. We just put the videos out there, but, you know, you're the ones that are are, are helping, you know, get, get the word out there. So thank you so much. Um, I really hope you're having a great day. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.